the way we are pushing the horizon and moving forward with our science, even though it's kind of herky-jerky at times, yeah. we are doing it. And it really, that's what Americans want to see us do. I, you know, whether it's in a caucus in, you know, suburban Denver or primary, people want us to know, want to know that we can work together. And on this committee, you know, there are places where we fight, but we work together on a lot of, a lot of issues. Um, and want to keep an eye on the budget, obviously. That's part of our job as members of Congress. Want to have good people in an agency like yours who we can trust to be good engineers, scientists, mathematicians, technicians, to take on these major tasks, which you said and everybody knows are not without risk. Mm -hmm. So the chairman and I wrote this uh, op-ed, this Great. article on uh, getting us to Mars by 2033. And it came from information that we had at a hearing uh, about three, four months ago. And I just, I like to use my prop, this bumper sticker, 2033, we can do this. Because we can. And the responsibility of those of us up here is to provide the financial platform for you all to design your program and the building blocks that go into place. Mr. Rohrbacher was talking about the moon. That may be part of your building blocks. I'm not a scientist. I can't determine how you want to build the program that gets our astronauts to Mars by 2033, but I can help you by assuring your agency that Democrats and Republicans, Congresses from now until 2033, and administrations mm -hmm. from now until 33, really do have a major effort in place. So how does, how does NASA look at us when we say something like, yeah, get there by 2033? Is it with a little bit of skepticism, uh, I not, would imagine? Not at all. Uh, when, when, you know, to have a member of Congress who has a bumper sticker that says, we can do this, we don't see that. The American public doesn't see that enough. Um, you know, in this day and age, what, they, what, what the young people sitting here see and hear all the time is, we can't do this. We are not a great nation. We are going to be, but we're not right now. Uh, that's just bunk. Uh, we're the greatest nation in the world. We always have been. And if we stay focused, uh, Congressman Edwards used the term constancy of purpose. She probably got that from the same person I did, from, from Admiral Joe Dyer, the chairman of my uh, ASAP. Constancy of purpose means exactly what you and Chairman Smith wrote, and you've, but you've got to believe that. Uh, the Congress and the administration have got to come together, and they've got to set long-term vision that, that's going to go beyond that administration. Most of what I do today, I'm never going to see it, you know, but I'm doing it for my, grand, my grandchildren. Um, that's what you all should be doing. Uh, you, know, you should be looking out and saying, whoever takes my place, I'm going to brief them on why I supported this and make sure that they do it. We plan to do the same thing with the incoming administration, the incoming candidates, to be quite honest. We want to let them know what NASA is doing and what the Congress and the administration, in spite of what everybody says, you all work pretty well together now and then. And so you have set us on a course to Mars. We can get there in the 2030s. But it's a long, hard, risky slog. And we've got to do things on the International Space Station. We've got to spend 10 years in cislunar space that's going to allow people like Congressman Rohrbacher talked about who have these visions of doing what, what we once did, putting humans on the surface of the moon. NASA can help them, but NASA can't stop at the moon. If we set the moon as our primary objective, that's it. We're not going any farther than that. So that's why we're focused on Mars. And we've got a pretty good plan that will get us there, but it is step by step. We've just got to stay, stay together in doing that.